Okay, people, what we want to do here right now is uh, just show you how to take one of these calculators. And uh, we have some of these. They're called the TI-83+. Plus. What we want to do is take some of these calculators. And uh, I want you to physically borrow one of these calculators if you can. If there's not enough to go around, um, let me show you here. Uh, what can I do? Let's see, if you go to the uh, secondary desktop, which you might have, go to Mathematics Software. I'm not sure if this is on the regular computers for students, but if you go to Graphing Calculator, you should come up with uh, this calculator right here. And if you do, um, what we want to do, oops, there we go, get rid of that. What we want to do is just show you how to graph here. And so you don't really need a full-on graphing calculator. If, uh, if you don't have one, you can just use this one right here. All right, so here's what you do. Start off by just uh, resetting this calculator, okay? And the way that you do that is you go, um, first turn it on, and you wanna go second function right there, plus sign, number seven, which is reset, number one, all RAM, and two, reset and you should get this screen right here. Okay, now the next thing to do to graph one of these equations that you see on the left, which we did before in the last video, but we're gonna show you how easy a graphing calculator can do this. So what you do is you just push Y equals right here. And then you get a bunch of Y1, Y2, you get a bunch of Y options here. We're just gonna deal with Y1, okay? So let's type in 3X plus four right here. Okay, so you go three. Now watch where the X button is, right here. Okay, three X plus four. Then hit graph, and look at that. And surprise, surprise, it is a first degree equation because there's an invisible one up here. And so you get a straight line, it's a linear equation. It's a straight line and it's in the form y equals mx plus b. Remember how that was similar to our question which we graphed by pen and paper using a table of values? Well, sure enough, the graphing calculator can do it that quickly. All right, now to go back to the equations, just push y equals, okay? Let's push clear over here. Let's put in a new one, let's put in the next one. Okay, so we're gonna type in two x squared. So remember where the x is? Now the squared button, you have two options here. You can push this squared button here, see and it looks kind of nice like that, or I'm going to hit delete here, or you can choose the exponent button which looks kind of like a hat, it's right here, okay? 2x squared, and the reason why I'm showing you this is because sometimes you might want to put a 3 there or a higher number than a 2, so this allows you to put whatever you want right here, okay? so. 2x squared minus, and be careful, not this negative button down here, but this minus sign here. The negative button is used if there was a negative at the beginning. If it, Well, I guess you'll see that on the next question, so I'll stop talking. So we want minus 5x plus 3. Okay, hit graph. By the way, before we hit graph, is this going to be a parabola? Well, of course it is, because as you can see right here, or you can look over here, that is a squared or a two. That means we've got a parabola coming here, and that's also called a quadratic. Come on, there it is. Nice, okay, nice parabola right here. You can explore this parabola if you want by hitting trace, and you can explore, you know, using the arrows, and you can see the vertex is right there. You can see that this thing has a minimum, and it's, you know, it's just a really cool calculator for looking around at graphs really quickly. All right, so let's look and see if we can graph the next one. Hit clear again. Negative 4x squared. Okay, this time, remember, the negative button, do not push minus. It will have an, well, I'll, I'll do it and show you what happens. So 4x, I'm gonna hit this little squared here, plus 3x minus 4. If I hit graph, see it says there's an error. So I'm telling the calculator, okay, take me to the error. So you hit go to, number two. And there it is. 
that minus sign cannot be in front. It's got to be a negative sign. So you just go down here to the negative button, and I push that, then I hit graph. And remember, it is a parabola again. Notice something interesting. It is a negative parabola. It is the sad face. Well, remember, and here is your hint, remember the thing we just talked about in the very front, the negative sign? Well, that has a lot to do with that graph going down. Just for fun, I'm going to delete that. You can fool around with this on your calculators if you want. You can fool around and explore with this graphing calculator. But hit graph and you'll notice that it is no longer a sad parabola. It's a happy, positive parabola. See that? It used to go down right there. Now it's going up. All right, so let's do the last one. Hit clear and negative 0.5 x squared minus 2. Is that going to open up or down, folks? That's right, it's going to open down. We see the negative in front. And uh, the point 0.5 in front, we're going to talk about what all of this stuff does to these parabolas later. Okay, so we won't get too heavy duty on these right now. For now, I just want you to make sure you know how to graph this. Sure enough, it opens downwards. It's a little bit wider than before. Interesting. We'll talk more about that in the next lessons ahead. But for now, you know how to graph a parabola. And I think that's all you needed to do.